Could you have predicted this? Nobody could have predicted this. I even got their colors wrong. Welcome to the finals. Isis Mirror. Would you believe it? You better do. Hey, one of them is going without a pharaoh. It's Matrius. Yeah, yeah, and... I guess you want the empowering if you're going on the berry bushes, right? Slower food gathering there. But chemo is going without it. Uh, yeah, let's it see if work we can out? keep up. You let me know, because you can see the production in the TC. You let me know if he's got enough food to keep producing. He didn't put any extra villager. Uh, he's gonna have to force... Okay, he's putting a fifth villager. That will solve it. And also the pharaoh is, is coming back, of course. Of course. Yeah, Isis Mirror. Um, so I guess we can expect some later gameplay. Uh, do you think... Do you think anyone will be going half for here? No. No? No. Would you risk it? Maybe. Maybe. I think if you have enough priests, the Ancestor's Eclipse just doesn't do that much. Although, uh, well, if, if you can get out a bunch of Scorpion men, that's a very different story. Those are scary. Uh, with Eclipse. Yeah. Because two of them can just go around and go for the villagers. They got one tap then. What's the benefit of going Hathor here, though? Just having the rock with a pet in it? It's against... the mercs, I think. The mercs. Okay, you're thinking DM, aren't you? I I'm thinking this map is defensive enough, and there's enough gold for it. Definitely enough gold. But maybe... Maybe the distance is so small that cav mercs are already good enough. And you just go for the timing attack with, like, the priest upgrades and all that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's what I'm thinking. Like, yeah, you know, I can't, I can't see these boys planning that far ahead that they pick Hathor to get the Hathor Mercs. Maybe, maybe I mean, I'm definitely not their level though, so we're gonna have to see in about eight minutes time, six minutes time. I gotta say, I, I've not seen that very often, so there is that. But it works out for Ra sometimes, so why not for Isis? Yeah, but Ra's default is almost Hathor, isn't it? Yeah more likely Hathor of a segment. Whereas Isis, to get to go away from the AE, ugh, it's, it's a risk, I think. Well, we got two dogs for both. And soon there should be a third, especially for chemo. A bit more gold at the moment. No? I guess he's getting a temple. Getting that made nice and early. Oh yeah, that is very early. Yeah. But he's only got one villager on it, so... He'll probably have the food by the time it gets up. <laughs> Looking at the relics, we've got the Dwarven Calipers, which is a decent relic. And the other one is Pandora's Box, which I think we've had every single game this tournament. Have we not seen Pandora's Box a shitload of times? Pretty much every game. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody ever wants it because it's <laughs> kind of terrible. I mean, 25% sounds good, but when you make one myth unit every 10 minutes, then... <laughs> Exactly. The game is kind of age of humanology, so you don't really make myth units in AOM. <laughs> no. It's very deceptive. <laughs> Except that Fire Giant spam game, that was something. That was definitely something. Oh, 
if I'm getting the first monument at the same-ish time, Kimo just throwing down the house is not really bothering about the layout. Fair enough. Oh wow, yeah. I mean, does it really matter in the matchup? Not really, does it? I don't think anything melee will attack a tower. Unless they AE your base. Yeah. Eventually the siege tower will, but... Mm -hmm. I guess... I, I don't know. Matt has made the houses way outside, around the docks, so he's good. <laughs> Very fast, heroic timing from Kimo for sure. Classic. It's already getting the armory, I mean. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah, he's ah. probably gonna cast the uh, gold thingy, prosperity, on eight, nine villagers. I don't know about that. See, eight, yeah. Still got a shitload on wood, hasn't he? If he's actually trying to get heroic, then yeah, you want to move those villagers over to gold just to get the heroic, and then you can move back to wood if you want to fight water. Or maybe he's just building that armory because he wants to have it, so when he's ready to go up, he can go up. But well, now he's housed. Oops. He's building the houses very slowly with one villager at a time, so Matt has fought ahead a bit. He's got discovered already. Uh, has... A little bit more boats overall, but on the bottom side he has less, so it's gonna be pretty stable this game. Yeah. Nobody uses prosperity. Not yet, no. But they both have the food, so it doesn't seem right. There, there it we go. is. So, I think Matt's making a move to... Yep, Matt's doing it now as well. He's moving his pharaoh over to empower the mining camp. Yeah, you absolutely want to do that while Prosperity is on. The villagers drop off so often. Uh, this gold mine is going to be absolutely swooped up. Like, a thousand gold in it? That's yep. not going to last long. We'll but yeah, it looks like they were playing Prosperity Chicken, so they were waiting for the other guy to <laughs> do it first. And uh, yeah, just maximizing the villager numbers, I guess. NFTs for yeah. both players. Matt is quite a bit ahead in the timing. Hmm, that's strange. He had, I think he's got a few more on gold. He's got 17 on gold, whereas chemo has got about 13. So maybe he had a slight advantage in the gold. Matt has gathered a lot more though, but uh, with Kimo's having been empowered for like pretty much the whole time, I think he wins out an overall gold gather. He's got to. Yeah, true. Whereas Matt has been empowering his lumber camp and only switched over to the gold mine during prosperity. Yeah, for those of you new, the way it works is the pharaoh increases the amount that the villagers drop. It doesn't make them gather faster. It just makes them drop off more. So a, a 3k gold mine is actually worth a bit more than that. I think it's a 20% buff. Yeah, it's a decent amount. Yeah, 20%, so... Oh, there's the AE on the TC. Oh, that TC's not going up and these oh, villagers wow. are going to have to run away. Yeah, they're tilting. Yeah, that's a good timing push. That's the timing push you're looking for, right? You also have to pull off the villagers from wood, so this is great. Yeah, the AE can get extra value here. Matt is still going to get a second TC, but it's not the TC that you want to prioritize. Kimo getting his Migdol up now as well. He's going to be able to get that up with no pressure because Matt can't cast his AE, obviously, at the same time because of the Eclipse blocking it. So that's really nice play from Kimo. That puts him ahead, I think. Oh, absolutely. I mean, he's already up five villagers and uh, going to have a Migdol, whereas Matt isn't. Plus, look at all the priests from Kimo. Like, he's ready for an AE True. when it gets cast in his fate. Whereas Matt, he wasn't ready. There's no priests here, is there? He's still losing villagers to these ancestors. Yeah, Matt just really wanted that second TC for some reason. I mean, he's got already so much going on in the water. Is that really necessary? 
Uh, I don't think so, right? He's got cladding on the ship, so these are heavy cabinets. They're winning pretty hard. Oh wow, that's an upgrade you don't often see. But no Hathor this game, I'm sorry to say. <laughs> no. <laughs> but we get, uh, get to see Leviathan's fighting, which is like... I don't know. Yeah, I mean, that's another benefit of going the um, Nefties here, isn't it? Getting the Leviathan. If you don't have that, you're again a bit behind. They're just so bad at killing each other. <laughs> uh, I don't think he has any... It has. Any, it doesn't have any bonus against other Myth units. That's so strange. Huh. Alright, there is Matt's AE. Yep, right through the middle. Where's the priests? They they're are fully coming. healed, so they're good mm -hmm. now. The ancestors are not even doing anything. Half of them are just standing over near this gold mine. Is he just using them more for defense to get this Migdol up? I don't I don't get this AE at all, Matt. It's not doing much. No. It's a bit of a yikes. Yeah. Oh. But yeah, Kimo got value, Matt. I don't think he's got any value. He's ki killed maybe a few chariots. Killed two entire chariots. Wowzers. <laughs> wow, with two god powers. <laughs> oh, he's not even got his scorpion man doing anything. Like, go go raid with it or something. Yes. That would have been nice. Uh, they they do two tap here. villagers, so... Yeah. Oh, Matt. Matt, Matt, Matt. I don't think this is Matt's god, to be honest. No, it's... no. Kimo's at home. Yeah, for sure. Priests are gonna kill an elephant, you don't see that often. <laughs> wow. Oh, Matt's trying, uh, but... I'm not sure what he does to come back at this point. I mean, Kimo's gonna have three town centers. Uh, he's got still reasonable presence on water. I know that Mattress has a little bit more, but it's only a few fishing ships, honestly. So it looks like yeah. a lot on the mini map. It's not that bad. He's actually going four TCs now as well. Plus, there's nothing to stop these two siege towers and this elephant here. He's only making chariots. Like, I'm sorry, this Migdol's gone now. Well, there's another yep. Mako, but the numbers just speak for themselves. Yeah, I like this sure. early trade, though. <laughs> it's... Yeah, but it's also eating into so much of his food. Like, look at his food compared to Kimo's. Oh, yeah. It's nice. He can pump out a lot of mercs for a short while. He's going to need to have to if he wants to stay in this game. Leave our Kimo's going 4 TC's. All he needs to do is max out, get 45 TC's, max out again. <laughs> and from there, honestly, Matt shouldn't have a chance, even with Mercs. Okay, I think Matt has to retreat for a minute here. Oh no, he's got so much siege back there that he wasn't pushing into the fight. Uh, it's Chemo, sorry. Chemo needs to retreat. Is that what I said? I can't remember. I... I'm half asleep. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we have got six siege towers. Just needs to get rid of this elephant and they're pretty much free to move forward. And the mercs, the mercs are gonna be a pain. Is that too many siege towers? It's like, there's not much else in here. It's very true, but they do act like a bit of a meat shield when you've got this many, right? Like... Sure. And they're taking down this elephant. We definitely don't see that often. No! <laughs> they're actually a decent archer, that's for sure. Um, yeah. It's just, if Matt can afford mercs, then I think this might be a problem. But anyway... I... Yeah. That's not enough of a problem at all with Kimo being almost full population now. This is still a very big army and he could have just kept trading the, the the units out, picking off the trade, and then Matt wouldn't have gold, so yep. Yeah. 
Interesting first game. You fight fire with fire, right? The players are agreeing on what's OP. Yeah. Both playing the same thing, finishing each other's sentences, <laughs> finishing each, each other's sandwiches. It's kind of nasty, <laughs> to be honest. They're the new power couple. <laughs> All right, let's see if Matreus shows Kimo how Poseidon is played, or if Kimo will upset Matreus here. Now both of them do the super early lure, of course. Uh, saves your villagers from having to to walk. And anyway, there wasn't any hunt in in the zone. Sometimes you get lucky though, and like the hunt was spawned directly next to your town center, so you can just lure them in with your villagers uh, without the actual god power. But yeah, the less your villagers have to walk, the more they can work. So you want to do this. Pretty much every time. Yeah, for sure. Sort of basic RTS stuff, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Um, did you fix the game sound? Oh, I didn't. Good one. Alright, looks like both players picking up about the same amount of pigs so far. See two relics scouted so far as well. Uh, al arrows of Alpha increase the ranged attack of buildings. Meh. And Eye of Ornlu increase the attack of Hippaspists. Meh. Probably not going to make too many Hippaspists this game, I wouldn't imagine. Yeah, I like the building one. Um, it also affects docks, so that helps oh, a lot. Oh, does it? Yeah. I didn't know that. That's actually really useful then. Yeah, it's not bad, but, you know, there's only going to be, like, two dogs at a time shooting, so... It's pretty yeah. minuscule for that impact. Uh, it, it's really useful on towers. When you have, like, yeah, max towers, that's that's why it really shines that relic. <laughs> Without that, not so much. So, I, I think we might actually not see these guys pick them up. But what both of them have been really good with is the Minotaur and... Uh, sorry, it's not going to be Minotaur. There's going to be maybe a Cyclops or Centaur. Um, and the hero harass. Yes. Yeah, hopefully we'll see both the heroes out relatively early. Like, there was a game we saw earlier today, not these two, but other players, where we didn't see the heroes from the Greek player at all. And that was a bit costly. Yeah, it, it's cheap. It's funny. It's cheaper to make them than to not make them. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Because it just takes so much damage without. Yep. I think the big decision is, do you stay at home to just protect your peoples, or do you try to go out and do damage? Yeah, because you don't have the bolt, you're not Zeus, so you can't just bolt the myth unit here. Maybe you leave one at home and you send one out to scout? That works. Okay, it's Ares for both players. Okay. By the way, to the peoples in the chat, when you build a storehouse building in AOM, it builds quickly enough that your villagers won't have full storage uh, by the time they're done gathering, so uh, by the time you're finished building. So you can just build it with one, and everyone else can start gathering, basically. Except if you're Egyptian. If you're not empowering it and you're building it, you won't get it built in time. Oh yeah, they are slower. <laughs> yeah. Which is a real pain in the ass. So you need to mic quickly micro and drop off your or it's help your other villager build so they can drop off instead of walking back to the TC.
All right, dogs. Are they far enough apart? For pestilence? Uh, totally not. I think this will hit even uh, the temple. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, not that he's going to be spamming Cyclops or anything. No. But yeah, that yeah, those docks are not far apart. Exactly. When are we going to see like the Pegasus strat? On 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 water. Yeah, when they when they just it... make them free with Hermes and make like a thousand. <laughs> oh yeah, and distract the boat ships. All right, there's double pestilence. We got both docks from both players. Okay, let that be a lesson. They haven't placed their docks far enough apart. Wow. And we got the temple, I think, from both. No, Kimo didn't get his temple <laughs> pestilence. So this Not is just like ceasefire, but you you can keep fighting. You just can't have an army. <laughs> Yeah, just be really careful with the two boats you've got. One boat you've got now. Big sad. Uh, Big sad. Both players throwing down the third dock, and eventually they have an army. All right, I see Matt has made Theseus, and he sent his Cyclops over to the wood line there. Oh, he gets a villager pick off. Keep on not looking, and oh, the slam boy. hits the villagers. It hits five of them actually. Six. That's a lot. Cyclops and there's Theseus now. Run for it, but that's a very slow run. <laughs> a waddle. That's why you get your hero out early, isn't it? Like, I think so he's, he's ready to deal one. with this. He's coming back. He's coming back for more. He yeah, he'll get another help. one. What the hell, Kimo? Oh no, Kimo! Luckily for Kimo, it's being thrown the wrong way. Yeah, that time, yeah. Imagine if you could direct that. <laughs> <laughs> That's definitely some value there. Wait, did Matt also lose a villager? See in his main base next to his pigs? Looks like a corpse there on the That's floor. That's a corpse. That's a throw. Okay, so there was almost a trade there. It was two for one villagers. Yeah, it's manageable. Wait, Kimo on 23 versus 25? How did that happen? Did someone make an archer hero? I haven't seen a hippo. Uh, is it Hippolyta? It is, but yeah. it isn't around anywhere. No, I don't see her. So he didn't make her. And he didn't make a uh, a healer because it's Wibbly. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Yeah, he's down. Yeah, I bet too. they wish they had one. Maybe. It's pretty good for the boats. Yeah, that's very true. So 16 ships versus 17 ships. What? Yeah, 17. Okay, very close. It's a mirror game in every regard, except Matt is ahead by two bills somehow. And one fishing ship. Wow, amazing. <laughs> All right, let's watch their micro. Well, Matthew seems to be cutting ahead a little bit. But I think a big reason for that is because Kimo's ships were lower HP. And it looks like the bronze match has completed. We got a raid from Iron Maiden. So thank you nice. for the raid. And thank you for casting all day, Iron Maiden. Uh, to those of you later watching on YouTube, make sure to check out Iron Maiden's YouTube channel. It's absolutely sick. You're missing out. <laughs> it will be linked in the description. As for Twitch, you can plug it right there in the chat. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, well. So Hippolyta is out this time, but <laughs> they're both chilling at home, so... It's like yeah, playing know. hero chicken this time. Yeah, why stay at home at this point? So they're scared of each other's heroes, right? There's no Cyclops around. Uh, the hero one is tough, right? Because they are not particularly good against each other. Like, no. they're just really healthy. 
and it takes forever to get rid of a hero. So if you go out, I think you can do more work with it. Um, that's my opinion, at least. It's more threatening to the villagers than the heroes out to each other. Yeah, that's true. And you can be very annoying. Like, if, if, if his heroes aren't in position and you're there raiding, you can be super annoying. Yeah, it looks like uh, Kimo's sending his around. Wow. Suddenly we're 20 versus 14. Yeah. Matrius is focus fire and uh, beautiful concave is actually doing so much work here. Concave. Only eight shifts. It's wow. About RTS games in general, it's insane how snowbody fights get when there's a few numbers of of difference in units. Reason being that. 20 ships kill one ship way faster than 14, so... Wow, really? Wow, amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't all know, right. I'm just doing the mirror matchup talk. <laughs> this, got... this is why you're all here, right? <laughs> yes. We've got Kimo doing some harass on the woodline of Atreus here, but uh, I don't think it's going to be enough harass on the woodline to win back the water anytime soon. But it is harass. That's annoying. Uh, apparently you're having microphone issues, but it might might have been just a Discord thing. Oh, is it fixed now? Yeah, they say fixed. Okay, sorry. Now, Discord is sometimes shitty, so... Okay. Yeah, it's definitely not you. Sound good to me. Okay, both boys picking up their second TC. We This is truly mirrored, isn't it? No. So Kimo did bring over the heroes. He, he needs yeah. to because he needs to do damage after that. Uh, I like that he's also grabbing a TC, but Matrius is ahead in that regard. And that's an 1800 points to 1300 here. Ouch. Wow. That had to hurt. <laughs> I think I would like to see Matreus use this shitload of boats he's got here and just go in and like take down the docks. Mm. Like, yeah. You may as well, right? Otherwise, you're just sitting here with idle army. But well, they're not terrible against them. Why not? Yeah. Is Kimo stacking up boats in those docks? He is. Uh, yep. Yeah, sorry. Uh, I keep forgetting that you can't see that. Sorry. So uh, there are currently uh, 15 in there. So Matthews does wow. need to take it seriously when it pops. Because he has yeah, 19 okay. ships, right? But they are not particularly high health. Love them a week, so Kimo in a moment will be outnumbering them. Yeah, the match sure. in trouble. Okay, oh, here they come. So much. Okay, let's see. It's pulling back. Gets caught off guard though, so Kimo has a nice opening to this fight. Yeah, Matreus was not ready for that. Curious where Matt is sending these um, six villagers up the side here. Do you see them? Oh, sorry, what's that? The. Uh, sorry, I know you're focusing on the water micro. But oh. Matt is sending six villagers up to steal a TC? That's what's a play. It? Oh, wait, Kimo will see it! But what is he gonna do about it? <laughs> he doesn't have a single barracks anywhere. <laughs> I mean, you fight it with villagers, don't you? You have to pull your villagers off here, off this wood line and off these chickens and fight it. Yeah, villager war, but he can't see. The granary, the granary should reveal it, hopefully. Oh, the granaries have crap for line of sight. It's okay. nine line of sight. Uh, villagers okay. have 14. Uh, already? That's amazing. What, his heroic time, or...? Yeah, with three TCs and... Uh, such a big water fight. I guess he's won super hard before, so fair enough. But yeah, uh, I'm I'm a bit surprised about the super early bronze. I, I would have expected yeah. him to, you know, either make a few more or get out seed ships. Exactly. Yeah, he's got his his numbers are fewer. Plus, there's a lot of them that are only you know 10, 20 hit points here. Yeah. I mean, bronze is very high impact in this particular situation because yeah. uh, the normal triremes have 20% pure summer. The bronze ones have 49. 
Yeah. And Metrix did steal the town center, so all he needs to do oh now is surround that with a bunch of stables or whatever other building and should be pretty safe there. Matt does lose the fight again, but he keeps his fishing ships going, which is nice. Is he making siege ships at least? Uh, no, I, I don't think he ever does. He always just makes the... Uh, he, he gets the ship upgrade, right? So then he has heavy trireams. Ah. Yeah, and he's also got his um, copper shields as well, so he's got the pierce upgrade. Oh, nice. Did that come through before or after the bronze, though? Because that would have made a difference. Uh, before. Okay. So it's still 49 armor on the... Yeah, that's my bad. So bronze probably only gets you to 42 or something. I don't know. Ooh, Some GG. water experts can comment. Oh, wow. Yeah, that was a very decisive fight. Fair enough. And there was a Theseus in the gold mine area, so rough game for Chemo. Yeah, having your TC stolen under your nose like that as well would have been pretty demoralizing. Like, oh yeah, it was right there, right? But yeah. He just couldn't see. Yeah. All right. Color Birdman. It's chemo. And on the other side, I got the wrong god for this guy. Uh Matrius is gonna be playing as Poseidon. Okay. His favorite is me. his best. Mm -hmm. Did you turn your game sounds on? Nope. <laughs> I never think about it, but <laughs> I guess you're helping. Yep. <laughs> Sick. Okay. Um. So he's found a nice relic here. The Copper of Horus helps a lot against Mifunets, and Ra probably is interested in spamming Mifunets in some way. Um. Whether it's gonna be. Anytime early or not, we'll have to see. He, he's done some pretty successful scare plays before, uh, Kimo did, so we might be looking at that stuff again. But um, we do have some counter relics to that on the map. We've got the Nose of Sphinx, and we've also got the wow. Scales of Cataplaplas. Yeah, I, I don't think anyone is. picks that. <laughs> no! <laughs> That's the worst relic in the game, it doesn't do anything. Mm. Even the Scout Line of Sight relic is more impactful. <laughs> <laughs> The nose of the Sphinx, that could be... Oh, what have we got here? Oh, no. What time are we at? It's one minute or two. One. Yeah. Poor Chemo. He's had a scout and he's decided, nope. I want out of this. That's pretty much a nope, I understand. Like, that forward TC is rough. Um, wait. Where is the... Okay, Matches forward TC is not easy either. And Where Kimo, is it's in the unscouted area. Um, very weird layout on this map. But anyway, Kimo has some relatively easy to secure gold mines, and uh, the trade will be huge when he gets to it. Which this matchup usually should be able to, but it might be just one of those earthquake games where matches just decides to end it. Yeah, I guess we'll see. Yeah, the TC is not great for chemo here, are they? Like, they don't secure any gold. They don't. They don't really do anything for you. It's not even no. food near them. That forward TC kind of helps a little bit if you can wall off, right? Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, you need to wall off, and that's not easy against Matrius. No. You will forward hunt. He will uh, do all that stuff. Thundercloud Shaw getting picked up. By the Pharaoh, so that's nice. 
Oh, he's killing the um, deer that's heading back for the lure. Yes, he got it. Sniped. That's very nice. <laughs> Unfortunately for Kimo, that's his own deer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, was that worth it? Having your Ra Pharaoh out hunting down a deer instead of empowering? Man, he's got no hunt even. He's on berries. Look at all these people on berries. That's a lot of people. Yeah. Does he really not have... Yeah, he's got that deer over there, and I think the Poseidon Lua st stole a heap of them. Yeah, the Poseidon Lua is taking all those deer from Matreus's, uh Kimo's pack. Wow. What happens when... when that deer gets killed like that, by the way? I don't know, like... Is that it... counting? I don't think so. Like... I think it needs to get into, like, the radius for it to count. And if it doesn't get into the radius... But Hagrid in chat, he'll have to correct us. Ip it. I never tested this, so no idea. <laughs> okay, nose of the Sphinx is found, so... Scare plays are gonna be much weaker now. I'm not loving Kimo's placement of his priest empowering that gold mine. Okay, now he's fixed it. Yeah, that's better. He's yeah, kind of blocking the himself. As well. yep. This is the ideal position for the villagers. Um, all they need to do is turn around real quick and it's done. Yeah. Yeah, he's fixed that now. It's much better. This is going to be slow uptime when you're on berries. Oh my goodness. Yeah, they got hunting dogs as well. No. Oh no, poor Kimo. They spent all those resources on hunting dogs and he has 12 villages on berries. Oof. Oh man. Matt's already grabbing his second TC. It's like gonna be two minutes until he was off the, that gold mine. Yeah. Life's tough. Gonna have to go for the cows. Oh boy. 5.13 is when he starts his uptime. Oh no, Pokemo. Yeah, they're, they're good the offensive walls. Oh my god. <laughs> You know when the AI sends you a message that uh, walls are for children? <laughs> yes. Real men fight with units. <laughs> but yes. the AI knows nothing, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I think Matt might actually... Okay, never mind. Oop, can He's not going to get that started. Oh, imagine if he had walled that off. Yeah. Time. Just but he's not going to be able to escape, though. I think he's pretty safe here. He should get this TC up. I don't see any oh, yeah. units. There's no stopping this. Egypt is just so fast with TCs. You'd have well, to go they are like when they're some... empowering. Sorry. You'd have to go with some 1 TC aggression. Then you can stop it, but... Yeah, for sure, but nah. He's, he's trying to outboom, I guess. <sighs> but yeah, I was saying when you're not empowering, it's a bit slow. Okay, now he's empowering. Okay, so Hagrid says if you kill it halfway back, it doesn't count yet. So that's your answer to the lure question. Oh, great. So that probably doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, what, true. What happened in this game. Yeah. I mean, it matters because the animal doesn't go there. But eventually another will. <laughs> yeah, another from his side of the map, from Kimo's side of the map. So I think he's actually hurting himself by doing that. Right. There is another stable coming up, but it's on the gold mine off Kimo. So Matthias is really not messing ah. around, he's messing with the efficiency and if he can squeeze another building like a granary this gold mine is going to be horrible to mine from. Yep. Look at these walls as well, like, oh my goodness. <laughs> these walls just give you so much information as well, like you can see when uh, Kimo's trying to leave his base or do anything. He can't sneeze without being noticed by Matreus. Oh no. 
if, if he gets a rock with his heroic advance, which I'm not sure if he'll go for that, but if he does, it will be immediately seen because he must entirely block, uh, box in right now. Well, oh, it's going to be a house on the gold mine. Yeah. I don't know about that. He was already layering the walls. He's like getting ready for that uh, late game trade. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to have a hard time with his trade, though, when uh, the entire map's been walled off. This has got to be so stressful as chemo, like... Mm. You, you know, as soon as you get heroic, you gotta make something happen. And there's not a whole lot you can do about this ball abuse right now. There's, there's zero units out. You have zero crush damage units. You have one badge yet, and it's getting bullied by two heroes. Yeah. <laughs> of, of course, yeah. people Lita keeps missing, so she doesn't count, <laughs> but... Uh... <laughs> Oops, and here come the Hippicon, and we've got a Centaur as well. I don't think Matreus can fight under there, though. That's fine. Matreus has now walled off that gold mine with the stable in the house as well. Oh, he's making even more walls. <laughs> Why are you so cruel, Matreus? Tough stuff. There's absolutely no mercy here. <laughs> he's has <laughs> been a little triangle. Okay, that's just evil. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Kimo. Alright, the gold mine for Kimo is now finished. Is he housed? I see him rapidly trying to get up like 600 houses. Uh, yes. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. You must be very flustered, I imagine. You would be, wouldn't you, in this situation? I think this is scary, yes. Mm. He's taking it to EC! Why? Why? Oh my god. So that he can make more villagers to fight with. He's got skin of the rhino. <laughs> <laughs> We're that's good, right? <laughs> yeah, that's perfect. Perfect strategy. Uh, his rock and his um pet are sitting in his base as well. Well, that's a lot of hippicons, and I just don't see a spot for the Migdol, honestly. Like, it would have to be in the main base or something. I mean, he's, he's putting it up here at his forward base. There's absolutely no access to gold anywhere. Maybe his plan is to break through to this gold mine just in front of his base. Matrius is even mining that gold mine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, the no. ceasefire! Seven to hit points left. Wow. <laughs> no way. And you know what? Matrius can box in those villagers. Uh, of course, there's gonna be a rock, so he can he can lift himself out of there. But if the Hippolyta and the Centaur together shoot it. Does it just die? Be pretty close, right? Special attack from the centaur. And if Hippolyta actually hits it, then yeah. It'd be pretty close, I reckon. There's a bunch of Toxodes to help too. So maybe you just make a second centaur for this. Just for this. It's, it's extreme, but maybe worth it. I mean, do you even have to at this point? Like... Absolutely no mercy. He's walling off. <laughs> oh my god, look at the look at the, 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 the traffic jam, the traffic jam at the wall. Oh, they were all stuck there on that wall um, on the uh, right hand oh, side. I see it. Yeah, they were stuck there though for a while. Oh no. Well, they're working their way through slowly. Yep. Very slowly. <laughs> all right. There's a, there's a stable to punch as well. Yep. But he's got this gold mine now, and his double layering of walls is going to pay off. That's true. Yeah, Kimo didn't hear no bell, so he's going to keep going. Yep. Now what's Matt's play here? I think Matt might just run through his triangle. Triangle. <laughs> that is good. <laughs> oh, right, wait, shift. no, he got shifted. It's the Tuxodes and Hippolyta. 
bit of a mess shift. Yeah, they kind of just walk thing. out. The Toxonis are dead, so it's something. Yeah. The chemo suddenly... How many bills is that on gold? That's 10 and... 30 villagers on gold? Okay. He's gone full DM. <laughs> Is that rock even gonna find anything? Like, Metro is just garrisoned his eight villagers, uh, expecting the locust, but it never came. Maybe it's all the mind games, right? Yeah, first thing he did was just uh, get the curse done. He's already making the market. So it's, it's a back trade situation. I guess it's safer. Oh, Fisius is taking down the pistachio. Yep. And that's that. It's making mix. It's got gold now, right? So yeah, it'll be good. <laughs> yep, double markets, 31 people on gold. It's just a pity he's used his shifting sands. I think that could have been used oh, yeah. uh, a lot more creatively now. Yeah, when you have this much economy, don't you just want to uh, dump some siege towers on someone's base? I don't know. Yeah, or even try and steal Matt's TC that yeah. he's just now taking. Or shift onto enemy villagers. Who knows? Maybe yeah. that's a juicy spot. Budget Chimera, let's go! Budget Chimera. Uh, the Hippie Cost is still medium. I mean, we're gonna have Artemis done, so Earthquake will absolutely smash something. I'm not sure what yet. Definitely not this forward base, which Chemo has fortified to... Well, that's just super fortified. The main could die. Uh, it's getting fortified as well. The tech. Mm -hmm. And Masons is coming in. Is this gonna be in time to save it? Well, to be honest, even the fully upgraded town center dies to Earthquake, uh, you need a few barracks around it. Yeah, to soak that damage. Honestly, Kimo's economy is so good, he might just be able to power build up a TC again. And just be fine. Wow, that TC just jumped so much HP. Yeah, the Fortified came in and that went up. Wow. Uh, the Migdol though, if Matreus can knock this Migdol down, that could be a big win. Oh yeah. Uh, no doubt he will make the hero in a moment, uh, Polyphemus. Yeah. And we're going clubbing. And do we see any um, hill forts yet from Matreus? I'm, I don't see any yet, so no siege. Yeah, funny he didn't make any in Heroic. Yeah. Because if he had access to Helipolis now, that would be terrifying. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think this Earthquake was a little underwhelming, unfortunately. It didn't get the Migdol and it didn't get the TC, so... They were the two sort of buildings you want to try and get. We knew it wasn't going to get the TC, but I'd hoped it might have got the Migdol down. Okay, are looking for damage in the goldmine area, but it's unfortunate fighting a priest. But three more coming its way, so that's probably all that. Yeah. No more damage. Okay, there is the fortress, finally. Uh-huh. Where is the Polyphemus, though? He okay. is up on that gold mine. Yeah, smash those walls. Yeah. <laughs> His bonus damage does work on that, by the way. Um, walls still count as buildings here. Yeah, they're going down so fast. I do love the female <laughs> sounds he makes. It's very fitting. Oh, you play the DM patch. That's right. <laughs> See, I fixed it locally, so oh, okay. I'm, I'm good now. Yeah, every other player in the world has to listen to it. <laughs> 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 That's actually so accurate. How are you doing it? <laughs> are you the original Yeah, VA, I voiced or... <laughs> her. Yeah. Alright, she broke through the walls, but she's gonna fall here. There we go. Uh -huh.
I'm actually surprised how well Chemo came back from that super rough start. Yeah, he just hunkered down and... Uh, well, he's a bit of a prepper with the walls anyway, so... Yeah. Doomsday yeah, will never come if you're ready. Mm. Ooh, a Helipolis is hidden in the fortress. The Chimera it happens to be pretty good at chewing up the siege towers. Yeah. Ooh, good fire. There's gonna be two Helipolis in just a moment. Polyphemus is out again. Should be able to smack through the was no problem and I'm starting to be worried for chemo again so he's, he's stabilized but how long can he keep this up in the heroic age against mythic greek yeah I guess his one saving works. sorry one yeah sorry his one saving grace is that it's not Hephaestus so there's no like super duper armory ups or anything from Matt yet oh yeah Plus, Matt has still not got fortified TC, so he's going to be down 15 pop if he fights full army. Oh, the Chimera gets in on the side. I'll have oh, the yeah, Polyphemus nice. out. Yep, yeah, he's got a Petrobolus here, but the villagers and the spearmen should take care of that. Ece is done for the Mercs. Oh, he got it. Yeah, they're all purple for me now. Oh, you have that upgrade, yeah. The UI. Yeah. They got the unicorn farts. <laughs> Alright. Heliopoli on the Migdol near the markets there. I reckon that should go down. If Good thing that Kimo much. got himself the heavy spears. Um, that's gonna be a lot more potent to take down the both the cavalry and the helipolis. Actually, a big surprise that heavy hippicons never happened so far. Yeah, true. I find Matreus has been a little bit behind on some of his upgrades, like the fortified TCs, his line upgrades for his um units. Yeah, and you mentioned he should have killed the uh, Migdol, right? But well, that's still going. Okay. It's a very, very low building that could have been dead all this time. Wow, yeah. He will never repair it, so it's still doable. Where is this? Yeah. Uh, Lucas, oh. Lucas, Lucas. oh, okay, on the farms there. Didn't look oh. like he got any villagers, though. In Good the reaction chariot. from Matt, yeah. Yeah. The chariot might... But yeah, that Migdol, if he takes that down, Kimo doesn't have any more production, so until he gets like another Migdol up, he sort of stopped his camels and chariots at least for half a minute. Yeah, well, Heavy Cav is finally in, so maybe maybe Hetairoi are an option? Yeah. How good are the upgrades here? Only has Copper Shields, so maybe not. What about Kimo? Uh, he also only has Copper Shields, actually. But he got the relic, so it's one and a half. Uh oh, the Horus upgrades are done. Uh oh, we got greatest of 50. That's double damage against Cav. Yep, so your Cav are going to start to drop off pretty soon. I guess you can't do the Hatiroi raiding. But Kimo's markets have gone. They disappeared off the map. Map finally broke through there. That's going to be really expensive, I think, for Kimo. Oh, that's a huge issue. Um, yeah. What gold mines do we have? Oh, <laughs> Polyphemus is slamming the villagers now together with the with the Hippicon oh, doing wow. the attacks. The spearmen will have to run there and try and defend. That's Kimo's only source of gold. He's back trading right now. Uh, how how bad is that? Let's see, eighteen gold? No way. Wait. Really? I don't believe that for a second. Hold on. Maybe it's because they did a short route and then he readjusted. We'll wait, we'll wait a minute and see what, what it is on the return trip next time. 44, that sounds legit. Okay, yeah. Plus he's empowering now, so he'll get that little 20% or so bonus. You know, that's not terrible then. Yeah. 
It's not good either, but... <laughs> no, it definitely slows them down. Plus there's Heliopoli and um, Cavalry coming in from the right-hand side from Matreus. They're going to be really tough to deal with as well. Those spearmen have, have to be moved back to defend here. You know what's funny? The militia are one population and mm. their stats are better than the spearmen. <laughs> oh wow. Spearmen are Even too pop. You mean the base stats? I assume you don't mean the greatest of 50 spearmen. Uh, well, yeah, Super Spearmen are <laughs> similarly good. Except they can scab their better. But I don't think the militia have any upgrades yet. Like, no medium... nothing. Matrius is going for the TC. He's got three Helipolis. Yep. I think these Spearmen could deal with it, though. I think they could needs to focus the tox on the spearman here you don't want no focus okay now he is possibly yep yep it's on nah that, that's uh, pose got upgraded. can chemo repair the base yes okay this is easily dealt with then yep. good for him that he was in position and now chemo's towering up the middle here which is like a really good foothold i think to have Secures him a gold mine at least. Means he can start pushing Matreus from different angles. I think Matreus doesn't agree. He's just gonna flame these villagers. Oh, yep. It's a good point. Someone in chat said Kimo hasn't used his tornado yet. Oh, really? Wow. Mm. Okay, uh, so there's a TC here that's been basically not touched. The main could also be a decent target. Yep. Matches to switch into heavy infantry, making just a few barracks. He doesn't have a whole lot of base building space. No. <laughs> All his walls have come back to bite him. <laughs> well, Kimo seems happy with what he's got in terms of economy. He's made a lot of caravans. It's not very efficient, but at least he can stay populated, right? But Matrius is struggling at 130 population and not really making much progress. The tower spam is getting real and they're ballista towers. Kimo's only missing the iron upgrade from those. Uh, in fact, he's only missing the iron weapons and iron mail, and then he's fully upgraded. Matrius is very far away from that. He doesn't even have mail upgrades, and he just resigns. Yeah, GG. Yeah, I felt like Matreus was really behind on his upgrades all game. Like, he doesn't even have, like, tower upgrades. I know that's not a priority, but you'd expect 26 minutes, maybe you'd have some tower watchtowers. Yeah, yeah, by this time, he should have been fully upgraded on everything, even with Artemis. I... I'm not sure what happened, to be honest. Yeah. A lot of money went into the the Helipolis. Yeah, I don't know what happened this game. So, Matrix is gonna be in the blue. That's a better gold mine for chemo. Much better. Yeah, totally understandable that he would have vetoed that. Like, you don't wanna. You don't wanna lose to a single hero harassing you. Ugh. All right, relics on the map. Titan's treasure to make secrets of the Titans less expensive. Meh. 
Mithril horseshoes for the cavalry speed. Oh, that is one for the Poseidon. Or the Ra if they pick it up with the camels. Oh, yeah. Two and Theros then, is also mm -hmm. good. Yeah, for sure. Is there a fourth relic? Am I missing it? I literally four, right? can't see it. A pair of the golden lions. It's in a white patch. Okay. Very tricky. Oh, yeah, I see it now. <laughs> they, sh they really should have made the relic stand out a bit. Yeah. As for the gold mine positions, Kimo doesn't have anything super secure. So, okay, this is tough life. I don't think this veto helped him. He has to secure the forward one somehow. If he wants a TC, he'll have to grab the forward one, which kind of helps him with the gold mines, to be honest. So maybe that is the play. Yeah, I mean, we saw him squeeze himself out of a gold star of last game, so anything is possible. But this game, definitely harder to wall up, I think, and defend. Okay, what relic did he bring back? Oh, he got the Titan's treasure. Oops. Most important relic. Where's he doing a big scouting loop of? I have no idea. Kimo is going all in on the scout. He wants to see and know everything. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez, there's so much hunt in the middle. I just just realized what is this pretty standard marsh right it's brown everywhere but just in yeah. this one little circle <laughs> yeah that's definitely the more valuable tc i think it okay, brings back the toothed arrows too nice. is no one building the temple chemo oh Oops. no chemo there we go there we go Oy, he's gonna be over food though, isn't he? He's sending a third villager, four, five villagers to it. Oh boy. Not ideal. Okay, he should be fine. This is not yeah. terrible. Yeah, going up now. I was getting nervous there. What if he doesn't notice? <laughs> Just shift back the villagers away and it goes to hell. Okay, the. Theseus is going to pick up the good relic, so we got Mithril Horseshoes coming in for Poseidon. That's going to be some speedy horses. Yeah, I'm really surprised the Pharaoh didn't pick that up when he walked past, because I'm pretty sure he walked past that when he did that massive loop. But maybe not, maybe he didn't see it. Trying to look for more, but... Uh... I think that Theseus is going to go to Vil Harass, to be honest. There's not that much value in picking up the Golden Lions. No. It's it's not bad, but I don't know. To be fair, in some tournaments, we have seen the Golden Lions actually go around and raid around the 20 minute mark and it killed Gold Villagers, so. Really? Uh -huh. <laughs> that surprises me. Probably the stupidest thing I've ever seen, but <laughs> it's real. Okay, Matt with the forward TC. That secures so much hunt, he'll never run out. No. I mean, he's still got the lure in the main base for whatever reason. It's actually stayed up for so long. Yeah. I guess it's like sort of reached its, I don't know, has it reached its cap but it can't lure more in or something? Eh, who knows. Maybe it's just bugged. Maybe it's going for something distant. I can't see the map movement right now. I'm not seeing anything go no. there. Anyway, Theseus is being a bully and hurting Larry. Larry is not having a great time. Larry. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. 
Four hit points, though. You can't heal him up again. Nope. I mean, do you almost at that point, do you just delete him? And then remake him? Yeah, I mean, a suicide wouldn't have been the worst idea there. There's one villager that would have been like three slaps. Hmm. So maybe just committing to the villagers instead of the pharaoh would have been something. Alright, uh, looks like Kimo's gonna stay hunting instead of um, making farms. Oi, what is this? A vagit raiding? Oh, the watch raiding? Oh no. <laughs> it wasn't the strongest raid. Well, it was fun while it lasted, I guess. <laughs> Kimo going for a third town center. Wow. Okay, that's brave because if Matt really goes ham on cavalry, I think he can outdo what the TC can produce. He's so good with raids, and if he starts double pronged raiding with a triple stable, I'm actually a little bit worried for Kimo then. He's definitely gonna get his TC up, like that's yeah. not gonna be a problem. Hippolyta might pick off the Pharaoh, but that's about it. But I mean, do you think it might be difficult as well for Matreus to raid like a Ra? Obviously, he can do his. Ooh, there's a shift. It won't be easy. But Kimo is not yet walled off, so I like his chances at the moment. Yeah, I mean, where do you even send villagers from this third TC? Do you send them to a gold mine <laughs> that's super exposed? Like, you can't, you can't send them anywhere. Where's he sending them to? You gotta lure in the boar. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, true. It's the one thing you can do. Uh, yeah, like you said, everything else is super exposed, so you can't go to wood, you can't go to gold. The boar have got to come to you. Yeah. And there's the lion, so let's see it. Oh, he got the golden lions. <laughs> Alright. Let's see this raiding you're talking about. I want to see these golden lions taking 20 kills. <laughs> They're 20 kills. <laughs> A piece, right? Not together. Yeah, oh, <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, here's their first one coming in. They did it. Okay, so they can take credit for that one, right? <laughs> yeah. It's one of 40. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, Kimo did lure in one of those boars, like you said. Now only about 400 more boars to go, and the map will be clear. Yeah, you never need to farm this time. No. <laughs> if I see a single right. farm, I'll be upset. I mean... Ah! Kimo <laughs> is farming! He has to, doesn't he? <laughs> Yeah, uh, it, it's more of a match use thing to hunt all game now. Yep. So Kibo has gotten drastically ahead in villagers. Four, uh, 55 to 46. Matchers needs wow. to make something happen with these with these calf, because otherwise they'll be just a loss. Could have made a TC instead. Yeah, this is the hardest sort of point about being Greek, isn't it? When you know the Ra is about to go up. Heroic, they've got two or three TCs. You have to make something happen before that spike happens for the Eggy. I do think Poseidon can keep up, but you do need that third TC at least for that. If, if you just two TC and military is your focus, then, uh, then this is stressful. Yeah, and he just lost all his military as well. He lost a good chunk of them. Or a few, I guess. Only behind by four villagers now, so it's a little bit better, but three TCs produce way faster than two. Mm. And I guess the thing about raiding those farms is he kept chemo off the farms while the rain was happening, so that's actually probably worth it, losing some hippocons for that. Well, next stage of this is going to be the gold mines. Kimo is starting to switch. It's all about Matthews finding out about it. He's he's gotten the front villagers off of the hunt. Yeah, and this team is going. Wow, yeah, it's almost totally surrounded. That's crazy. Yeah, 
Yeah, Kimo should have prepped these barracks a lot sooner. Then he could have at least a few spearmen out to try and stop this. But this is going to be a free TC, basically. I see two Hippocon falling so far. Yeah, he's having to make mercenaries, which will just, I don't know, delay everything else. Alright, he's got a Pachukos coming over, which should help. Maybe he won't get the free TC. Let okay. the villagers repair. Maybe there's a shot here. Yeah. Or here fight. come the Golden fight. Lions. They won't allow that. Oh, right. No way. <laughs> the Golden Lions. <laughs> oh, man. Maybe he's not going to get it. That's a lot of mercs. Yeah. I like Kimo's chances of repairing. Yeah, he saves it. But it's quite costly. <laughs> Might be worth sending a priest too. Or, well, you can make one from a TC technically. It's just no one ever does that. Mm -hmm. Hippicos will find the villagers. Hippicos are fairly low though. So I think the villagers and the pharaoh can fight this. Especially with the Patsuka support. Yeah, and the skin of the rhino. Wow, these villagers are highly upgraded, by the way. So many of the eco upgrades are done. Yeah. And that pharaoh is a free unit, so even though it's lost, then, okay, Kimo is not going to get that empowerment income, but that pharaoh will come back in, like, two minutes for free, so... Does he really care? There are more Cav pounding away at that TC again. And more mercs to respond to it. Good news is for Matrius that he's equalized the villager count somehow. And that's without the fur TC, so he's been doing good with the raids. Yeah, I think it's mainly killing the villagers who are trying to repair this TC as well, right? Possibly. Oh, Kimo's sending more villagers forward because he wants to keep this TC. Oh god, he's sending it right into the cab. That might be the throw. He's, he's fighting with them? Yeah, I think he's got enough units to hold here. Maybe? Oh, this is... Yeah, I think he's got enough. Wow, okay, there. he's done it. This is terrifying for... For Matrius now, so... Yeah. He's lost too many fights. Medium Spearman is coming in. A Migdol is gonna be put down here. A Market is being put down. This might be Kimo's tournament. Wow. Oh, Matt's losing even more Hippogon. Like, just fall back, man. Can't Only fight now this. made his first Uxodes off the game. Yeah, wow. He needed those a bit sooner, right? Oh, Danny, are we, are we going to see the monster locust on these 13 villagers? He's, oh, he's pre splitting, so maybe he's not moving too bad. Back. Uh... He's moving back. Hippolyta is coming, so this rock doesn't have too much time left. Maybe he's just waiting for Matrius to get complacent about it. No? No, he's just actually not looking. <laughs> I wish we had like a, a vision indicator that shows where your screen is for each player. Yeah, like a view lock in real time or something, right? Yeah. Or even on the map showing where, where their cursor is. Alright, map up. Um, heroic? We've got our Hydra out. I'm yes. still scared about that rock there. You want to deal with it, don't you? Like, there's so many villagers here. It makes me nervous. I don't like yeah. it. <laughs> me either. Okay, he's dealing with it now. Let's see what these Hippocon can get done. There's, there's not a lot to raid. So many spearmen here to defend. Rip rock. That's more than enough spearmen for sure. Sun-dried mud brick is coming in. 45,000 oh, no. is coming in. Is there masons? There are. There is masons and crenellations already, so... Yeah, Kimo has not been messing around. He's getting double walls. Probably more later. Oh, the Hydra actually kills a pistachio. <laughs> oh no, they have fun. No! Matt, stop fighting this run! Ay 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 ay. Ay 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 indeed. This game looks like it's starting to run away from Matt. Oh. 
I don't think that Hydra can turn the tide, unfortunately, it's just not got enough. Spirited Charge is done, and Thracian Horses is done for the Cavalry. Nice. But even so, uh, he's gonna be going up against Heavy Spearmen, and yeah. they're just a little bit too numerous right now. Yeah, Counter raids by Kimo ah. have begun. the locust on the fortress but the fortress gets up okay <laughs> oh. that's so unlucky for yeah. yeah or it's good if you want the series to keep going because matrius needs your support send him your yeah. chat energy i do want the series to keep going i'm rooting for matt here oh that entire raid group got wrecked Epigons has 6.6 yep. speed. Almost enough to break their animation. <laughs> and Kimo is just fortifying every single TC right now, but Extra Barracks is doing a really good job of it. And yeah, this is not gonna go down. Matrix knows he's not even gonna cast it. Oh, he's gonna cast it, oh, what? Is it gonna go down? Absolutely not. No. Nah, it's fully upgraded, right? So he's even got architects. Yeah. Architects, sun dried mud brick, and fortified TCs. That's massive. And there's not really much follow up here. There's a few Hippocons, but there's no siege. It's not even a Polyphemus. He might get Polyphemus, though. And with, with the Helipolis and Polyphemus, he might be able to push this off. Uh, yeah. But only getting medium archers. There's no champion cavalry inside. There's our polyphemus. All right, where's the pharaoh at? I'm gonna see some Osiris action soon. But I'm not sure where the pharaoh is. Oh, there he is. Oh, he's already damaged. Yeah. Oh, that's yep. awful. That feels so bad whenever that happens. Mm. Oh, Mummy gets the Chimera though, that's a big win. Well, he's got a really good push going for himself, but fighting Mercs is never what you want to do, because these are going to be just constantly ge generated by the Egyptian economy. The trade has begun, but where are these caravans going? Why is their, why is their gold so bad? Yeah, he just deleted his market as well, so he must be readjusting his okay. way to that corner. Ah, he's gonna do it from the back, okay. Which, I actually, I like that because it's so safe, right? Safe, right, yeah. No need to take risks. Uh, Polyphemus goes around to chase the mummy, but they're equal speed, so it's never gonna happen. <laughs> Man, Matt had these five Hippocon and Chimera over near Kimo's top gold mine there. And were idle for a while. I would have liked to see him use them on that gold mine, like get some nice raids done. But no, they're in the main fight now. Ooh, towers by Matt this game. I like it. Yeah, I like it a lot too. That's gonna be really hard for Chemo to stop these Petrobolas. But he does have the son of Osiris, which might just chain the lightning mm. randomly to the Petrobolas. Oi, those those mer those units you know, absolutely melted. Chimera, melted. so good. Yeah, and this is only just a watchtower with like crenellations, and that's it. But they're doing work, I think. I hope that they help melt. Well, the Chimera are the ones with the potential here. They could definitely run around and try to find a big, big group of villagers. There's still a lot of miners. There's the farmers, of course, and these repair villagers. So, yep. targets exist. Yep. Yeah, definitely. And I think there's no point fighting the Chimera here underneath the Son of Osiris. May as well go raid something, like you say. Pick off reinforcements, perhaps. Like, I see some spearmen sitting there idle near Kimo's other town center. And the repair rate on the DC is insane. It just out repairs like two siege units. 
it does cost a lot though. Um, yeah, Emo true. is kind of draining his gold into this. And Metris only now is getting 45 talent center. He's got guard tower spam going. Ooh, guard towers. Nice. But there's a catapult. Yep. But he does have all these Hippicons and Chimera. Oh. They're pretty good at sieging down these siege <laughs> units. Polyphemus has died though. That's a big loss. That is a big loss. Okay, here goes the sound of Osiris, and Lumi comes in to help. Gets rid of the Ooh. Chimera. Oh, he didn't get a Chimera, did he? What happened? No, he didn't micro is that Exodes? Perhaps, yeah. Miss microed a bit. And now the Chimera are running. They're like, nope. Bye. And Atalanta's is going to take care of these two mummies, I think. Or at least one of them. And Theseus is chasing the other one, but Theseus is pretty low. No, he did. His TC is going down, though, I reckon. He's empowering it with his uh, Son of Osiris, so he can't even use the Son of Osiris to fight right now. He has to like empower this to get the repair rate up. Towers have crinolations, so they're doing some sweet damage to these Merkav. Cap was trying to clean up the towers, but they're unfortunately shooting at the archery range, too. Oh boy. He doesn't have the resources to repair. Uh, he's trying so hard. Yeah, I think he just sold a heap of food or something. There we go. It's down. It'll be going up like instantly if he can get the resources to get it up. Chimera though in there. Oh. We got 69 bits it. from It's Not Much But It's Something. Nice. But, but oh, this is, this is nice. Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh. How did this happen? People must have had to sell resources and was probably not looking for a moment there. And, and all his farms are on this location, so he's got no food income. If you're Machius, I think you want to click one villager on all these farms and... Uh, steal them. And delete them or steal them. I don't know. Probably delete I mean, them. You're going to take this TC anyway, aren't you? You're in a really strong position here. Oh, yeah. That self Osiris is actually going to be in trouble when, once Matt Max is out at 180 population. That's so much. Wow. <gasps> Kimo has 16 idol spearmen. Where are they? At his 40 TC, oh, the barracks. Oh, no. Yep. What happened? Oh, no. That is why he didn't have anything to defend. Yep. He just didn't check his idols for the longest time. Yep. Rock is going to have three catapults in it, but should be easy enough to follow around. Yeah. Plus, Matt's also got the population now to raid on this gold line of Kimo's at the top. That's insane. So, Sarah is still getting shot at, and the Miggle is gonna get taken out. It's not gonna come up, there's no way. No. Bit too ambitious there, sorry, Kimo. Son of Osiris taking some massive hits as well. Still only heavy Hippocon with just copper weapons, but they're doing the job. And obviously Spirit of Charge and Thracian Horses and the Mithril Horseshoes. <laughs> so much siege here. Boss. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. pretty much enough. But wait, here come the Mercs and the Spears, which might be able to kill these. They might and be able to kill them, but then what? Yeah, then what? There's gonna be Helopolis next. Mm -hmm. Oh, the spearmen are no longer idle. They're moving in from this other angle to take down this big tower spam. Oh yeah, and the rock drop is happening still with uh -huh. this catapult, so maybe Kimo can slowly clear this out, as long as he holds the main, right? But he's still at the south of Cyrus, he's still at Mercs. He's maybe. losing all those spearmen to the towers, no! Uh, that, that was like 16 not... spearmen. <laughs> Not ideal. Saves the catapult still. Yep. And his son of Osiris is still alive, so that's always a good thing. Alright. Oh, he's gonna clean up his TC. Matthews is, however, on such a high population count, he, he must have a ton of units, right? Yeah, he Although, does. They're all... Oh, where are they? I just saw them. There's a bunch of it. idols and there's a chimera up here too. He could break through the wall and, you know, Kimo's mines are gonna run low soon too. So I'm yeah, not sure how much longer true. this will run. Yeah, 
Yeah, Matt needs to click his idle military banner too. Such an important skill, and in the heat of the moment, sometimes you forget, but ideally someone would do that every bunch of seconds, honestly. Yeah. Okay, Matt's going for a raid on the top gold mine here again. Maybe. Yep, roast. Ooh, there's some low villages. Wait, why is Sam Cyrus here? I don't know. He might have been in the rock. He might be looking to do a rock raid or something, or he just wants to clear out these two fortresses, which are pretty much pretty much sitting on his trade route. Oh, well, Kimo just lost all his gold villagers, so. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Wowzers. No more gold mines either for Kimo, is there? He's relying purely on trade at this point. It was pretty much gone already, yep. A thousand left. Yeah. Uh, the trade, what is it doing? So that's transporting back 59 gold. Not bad, not bad. He's empowering it with a priest. But his villager count is absolutely abysmal. Wow, 36. Those capos will need to help against the health forest. There's no way around it. They can shoot them and do pretty decent damage. The Halipolis only have actually 50% uh, crush armor. Huh. He's totally relying on the Son of Osiris and meanwhile the rock is idle. H Hippolyta is going after oh. it! Oh no way, the two capos drop on the TC. That's, oh. that's probably game there. Yeah, he can't build this TC up again, surely. Like, He's got 26 villagers or 34 now. Yeah, that's GG. Yeah. He tried to do some siege tower shenanigans on the other side, but the villagers instantly jumped on it, so. Man, this is another surprising game for me. I thought for sure Kimo had this. I thought for sure Matt was running out of time, like, but yeah, he turned it. Well played by Matt. So we got ourselves a game five. Do these boys always go to five games? I feel like they do. They always give us a beautiful series. Well, it's actually match fixing, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you just cook it five every time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
Yeah, not too bad. Should that relic actually affect Hippolyta? It's like her own stuff doesn't help her. <laughs> Sad. Sad. Patch team doesn't like Greek. <laughs> The Ra player found a decent amount of goats for a Ra. Actually, you know what? Yeah, that's that's amazing. Ten goes for chemo. I think he'll take it. Absolutely. Although I'd be surprised if he used all of them. Normally he'll just go for that early rain and he's good. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Kimo getting his temple up actually in time this time, I think. Okay, that's good. Yeah, very much in time. He, he's actually nowhere near the resources he needs. Uh, no, he had to go pretty far to get those giraffe. Didn't exactly. He? When you have this much walking time from your TC to to your food, then uh, they're gonna have a late advance time. So this is why a lot of people would actually rally to berries instead. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah, you have to weigh up the trade-off here of going up that much later and being very vulnerable to the Greek heroes. Well, the Theseus is gonna be finding this. How about the scout did, but Theseus is gonna come over to bully. Oh, gets the slap on the Pharaoh <laughs> and several drop-offs were not empowered. Nice. A little bit of damage you can do. Yeah. Oh, he's pulling off. Also, if you're cool like Magius, you're gonna deliberately time it like that. Even trying to body block the villager with the scat, but uh, it's not working out. He needs to wait a bit. Also has two goats forward there. I'm not sure how they got there, but they're going home now. <laughs> Might find that relic. I'll yep. take that relic. It's so good for the... <laughs> For the monkey. Yes. yes. Alright, Kimo moving out to take this TC over on the left hand side. Oh, it's been found out. But yeah, there's but nothing here to really. Oh. Do anything about it. I mean, the Vegit might get slapped by the Theseus. That's probably gonna happen. True. Yeah, true. But Hippolyta isn't being made, so... You know, everyone else is fairly safe. Is he queuing up Shadoof? I assume he is. Should be any second, really. Okay. So we got... Yeah, Shadoof is on, and Plow is on. Kimo bringing over a bunch of goats. Doesn't have the patience to wait for the goats to get right up to the TC. But they're so fast in AOM compared to, like, the other age games. Pharaoh going? Oh, he wants. To, does he want the fetters of Fenrir relic? Is that where he's going? I think it's a thirty C. With who? Oh, there. Oh. Yeah, the bills are late. But okay. Yeah, that was weird. <laughs> does he have the food to do this? No. No. Now cancel some bills. Yeah. Brutal. He did. He did actually cancel bills. Oh no, did he? Well, one of the TCs at least. The Vagit is coming over to yeah. raid into the main again. What? Again. <laughs> Absolute Chad snack. 
<laughs> Man, I wonder if we could get a shift on sheep. No, Matreus has already split his goats. Never mind. Maybe that's what he was looking for, a shift on the goats. Ah. So as an Australian, do you do you root for the snack? For the snack, <laughs> of course. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Wadget. All right, so Kimo starting his farms now. There's his rain. I don't think he's got enough on farms. He's got. Eight on farms over here, even though he's got actually eleven farms lined up. Oh, he's got three in his main base, I guess, yeah. and one on his third TC. Overall, it's fine. It, it, yeah. He could have been patient again here, like with the goats. He's getting his barracks out a bit sooner this time, at least, which is good. Massive bonus damage against unfinished buildings, showing its face again. Mm. So the villager will have to start fresh. Meanwhile, Matrius trying to catch up with the TC count. He's only behind by one villager, and by the time this is done, probably two. It's not that bad. Like, he's still done this in a timely fashion. He can, he can have a nice macro game here. Yeah, I just wonder if his farm transition is going to be pretty rough. How many has he got on wood currently? I see four here, I see another eight there, so we've got 12 on more wood, 13, 14. Oh, he's going for the outside berries, interesting. Yeah. Both yes, sides. Well. Yeah. So that's a lot less income than pretty much anything else except... Mm. Well, it's faster than goats. Oh, sorry, slower than goats. So it's slower than everything then? Yeah. It's... I think it's better than unupgraded farms. Yeah, yeah. That's that's it. Uh, 0 0.73 on the berries and 0 0.69 on the farms. Because he doesn't have plow, so... Once he gets plow, it's better. Spots the rock. Might be able to get a few shots in with the Tuxodis. Oof. A good start. Yep. And Hippolyta is being made from that TC, so very nice. Nice. Just keep it Kimo's... with the pills, and he's good to go. Mm. Kimo's already got a lot of spearmen out here, but this time Matt's made some tocks. So he's ready for these spears. This is still a very scary fight, I'm not sure if you want to take it. So you don't have any reinforcements here. Yeah, nah, you gotta run. Oh, the Hippolyta has the rock in her sights. Oh yeah. If you get that out of the way now, it's so much better. Oh my god, she misses like three shots in a row. Okay, she missed two in a row. But that's the rock dealt with. Not that bad. A relief, yeah. Hey, Matrius is actually trading quite decently here thanks to the Toxodis and the uh, Feast is actually tanking so much of the fire, so yeah, not, not bad exchange, I think. Five spears live. Fair enough. Yeah, wasn't too shabby. Oh, Danny, uh, there's 700 wood for Kimo. Oh my goodness. What's he going to do with that? <laughs> oh no. Is he selling it all to go up, Mythic? It, it's probably the best use of it right now. Got a lot of spears, but that's pretty much it. Well, we've got 
two markets from Kimo again, so he could be starting that business up. We've got a Miko uh, that could be used for some chariot production. A few camels wouldn't hurt, honestly. Yeah, any of the Migdol units would be nice right here. You can't rely on the pure spears when you've got Tox in this mix. Rukost is taken down. The Pharaoh got taken down. Hippolyta now focusing a tower. Okay, she's adjusted. Oh, huh, Mattress is 80 votes against 64. I'm not sure what happened here, but Kimo def definitely does not have enough on farms. Yeah, because he's making the pure spears, isn't he? Like, it's really hard on your food economy. Especially when you're not empowering your farms. Yeah, which none of them are empowered. And he doesn't have irrigation. Hmm. Yeah, maybe take some of those 400 wood gatherers you've got off and plonk them onto your farms. Sure would help. Oh, Magis is in a pretty good position. I think this is one of those games where he builds up again and... Uh, just ends up all over Kimo's base with the top buildings. It's going heroic now through Aphrodite. So we're going to see a nice little curse push. And that could be paired with uh, fortresses and patrobolas and maybe even guard towers in the heroic age. That's, I think, a little bit underrated, to be honest. Should be seeing more of that. Yeah, he's building up really nicely around the map. I'm particularly scared for Kimo's TC in the right-hand corner. Like, just a couple of Patrobolas behind those walls there. That's hard to deal with. Let's find this little side build, but... Yeah. With the spears attacking the wall, I think the villager will finish the archer. Yeah. Here. Good for her. Or a four villagers on the temple. So this could be for fortresses. This could be for uh, additional Nami Alliance. It could also be just for the mythic jump, which Matrix already has enough food for. He just bought heavy archers. He's bought quarry, heavy cavalry. Okay, he's just upgrading everything. So super heavy heroic age fighting is in order. Let's see if he can get some villagers with the curse as well. It's best when you can get a bit of everything. Oh man, these Tox on the left, picking off every single Spearman here. It's expensive for Chemo. What's happening with these Hippicon down here? Might be able to get a juicy raid. Oh, they're they're in the best possible place right now. Can hit the Chariots and the Vils at the same time with Curse, and then yeah. just swoop in and finish it off. Yep, nice. Oh, they even find the trade. Awesome. Heroes and Toxoli is pulling the other gold mine. This is this is great. Oh, the curse is so huge. Oh my god. Oh my god. Four <laughs> villagers turned into pigs. Five chariots turned into pigs. It's a lot of pigs. Oink, oink. Kimo down to 66 villagers or so now. Not sure what he was on before this raid and this curse. It might have been close to 80 though. Hey, have faced us this time. So it looks like Mattress is giving up on the earthquake timing. Uh -huh. It almost caused problems last last game. It could have been bad. Yeah, he hasn't managed to pull off the earthquake, has he? Kimo's been prepared for it every game. Yeah, it doesn't cost a whole lot to prepare for it, so I'm not sure it's that powerful, honestly. Of course, if you're caught off guard, that's a different story, but Kimo has been proactive with building up around the TCs. He's doing it now, even. Alright, Kimo preparing some siege as well on the right-hand side. Obviously to get rid of this fortress and make sure that Matreus doesn't build up too heavily here. He's aware that that could become a big problem. I really like if Matthews is already thinking about the triple armory. He's going to have a lot of favor ready to go. Um, so he's immediately starting a Forge of Olympus. And soon there's going to be probably more and more Colossus. We might be seeing the Polyphemus at some point. And you know what? With heavy Hippicons out, I actually wouldn't mind Hetairoi. Ooh. 
I don't have any other upgrades right now, but yeah, heavy cab is enough to start. Plus, the heavy toxilities have been helping all this time, so. There's a Colossus. I'm a little worried for Kimo, he's very far away from Mythic. Yeah, the Colossus are gonna be very difficult to deal with without mummies or Cyrus. And there's no priests around either. Eh, it doesn't help that the Colossus is fighting chariots. That's true. <laughs> uh, th there is a fortress here, and engineers is being researched, so after that, the Hedipolis are gonna be trouble. Nice. Patrick has some random units in the back, so he's gonna be able to deal with this raid no problem. Funny that he would be over there. What's happening here? Kimo is cleaning up the siege towers, but ended up losing three of them to villagers and and militia, so yep. that's a rip. I think this is actually a fourth <laughs> siege tower he's losing for nothing. Oh no. Yeah. Alright, Colossus eating at the gold mine there. Pharaoh is back alive, but the Tox are looking to snipe him. Our chemo holds for now. Hippicons, and the second set of upgrades is about to finish. Yeah, that's gonna be really impactful, isn't it? Oh, they're gonna clap these chariots. It's just, I'm not sure if all of them are here. There's still a lot of militia on the other side, so that's where <laughs> some of this population is going. Yep, for sure. You know what, I reckon Hephaestus synergizes much better with Poseidon than Artemis does, just because then your militia also get the armory upgrades. Oh yeah. Yeah, so it's, it's just a lot easier to uh, sustain your little siege push because your units are absolute beasts and are yeah. out upgraded by the Egyptian player, which is what happens when you go Artemis. Wow, look at this push, a Colossus and three Petrobolus. Yeah, what's even gonna be targeted by Kimo? Like, he doesn't have a good choice here. He doesn't have the right units. He doesn't have mummies uh, yet. He's going to eventually, but I think he's toast before that. Ceasefire wasn't even used. No. Yeah, so Matt can come in now and do the. Oh, there's a shift. Oh, it's the oh. Petrobolas. He got. <laughs> <laughs> That's a really nice shift. How often do you see that? It's really nice. Satisfying, like, wooden breaking sounds as they break down. But this TC is still going down. There's still a full health Colossus here. No heroes whatsoever. Oh. You know what's even better about this game? He can... Matthias, he can stay on cavalry because there's no Horus. No Horus Spearman. Wait, did that... That was not the... Okay. Yeah, so there's definitely no Horus Spearman. Uh... Camels haven't even begun this game, and the cavalry are fully upgraded, pretty much. I mean, there's barely even any barracks, so Spearman, full stop. Yeah. Yeah, he yeah. destroyed everything. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. Alright, now all we need is the Cease and Matreus to take this TC. Did they type something in chat? What did they type? I don't know, actually. I think he just went Mythic. Ah, okay, yeah, of course. Mummy takes care Sounds of the same. Oof. 47 hit points left on this Migdol though, just, yeah, there we go. Oh, he's got the Troublous in the back anyway. And Hippocon's trying to go after the Sun for Cyrus, but it's the Slippery Bastard and gets away. <laughs> he's, he's taking some damage though. Oh yeah, it's... did hurt. Minus 20%. I think Matt is getting ready for the Ceasefire Steel. He's moving the Wood Villagers to drop off. Uh-oh, he's doing it. Yeah. Just waiting does for that eco. Does he even need the cease at this point? Possibly not. <laughs> Good point. Yeah. Um, Kimo does have locusts as well. Yeah, that's a good point. He's saving it for this, I think. 
Yeah, maybe he can roast these eight villagers real quick. But the farms can see this, so... Yeah. It's the only hope. There we go. It's really well placed, but I don't think it will get it. Oh, no way. All of them get away. Mm -hmm. There they is can a even go back. Oh, okay, nice. Ooh, self Osiris taking so much damage. I think he's gonna get away, though. Yeah, he gets away for now. Matreya's pushing on the top side as well here, on the right hand side. Oh, wow. Probably Femus yeah. is here. Two patrol blasts. Yep. And militia getting spawned. Yikes. Yeah. Every time Kimo tries to push out at this location, he just has to deal with like six or eight like militia. Very tough. Uh, right. Thanks to Xset for the raid as well. Hope you had a good stream. We're in our final game now, and Matthews is just looking to close it out by stealing this town center with 12 villagers. Eventually, it's gonna start. Like, there's nothing to fear now. Weapon of the Titans is coming in for those potential Myrmidons. Son of Osiris is gonna get picked off. Never mind, he's running away with 34 hit points. Someone's <laughs> starting Secrets of the Titans. It's Kimo. Kimo? Oh, he's auto queuing in the ceasefire. No, the Mercs oh, no. are coming out. They're not gonna be able to do anything. Kim, oh no! <laughs> or maybe that's just flex, mind games and flex. Like, oh look, I'm so rich. I can auto queue mercs during ceasefire. Didn't hear no bell, I can do this all day. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. 10 seconds until everything's about to happen. Oh, this is gonna be a disaster. The Son of Osiris is still out there. <laughs> Where's it even yeah. gonna go? It's quite exposed there, isn't he? Oh, no. Oh, where are you going? Yeah, running back, running back. Oh, the Hippocon! No. Okay, he's fine. Mattress is just letting him have it, I think. <laughs> On purpose. Okay, Polyphemus is gonna soul yeah. the sound center alone because he's a chad. Secret Secrets of the Titans is gonna finish, but I mean, how is Kimo gonna ever get that? Where's he gonna put it? Unless he uses his rock, flies into the middle of Oasis. That's pretty funny, actually. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think Dean did that back in the day. Did a wonder there, right? Yeah, <laughs> something like that. Yeah, and the other guy had rag. I didn't bother <laughs> deleting his rag units. Oh boy. Hey, I feel like chemo is. Uh, this is a slippery slope for chemo. Four to one town centers. There's almost absolutely no coming back from this. I mean, Mattress even has Burning Pitch on his archers at this point. He, oh, he, wow. he can do whatever he wants, right? Yeah. Um, what did he not get? Oh, he uh, these are heavy archers. He didn't get champ. Okay, rock drop attempt. Let's see. Free catapults. Matt needs to pull the villagers and uh, send home the Hippolyta, which he's doing. I, I think he'll lose the TC, but in the end, he's fine. Mm -hmm. Did manage to get engineers on his um, catapult, so that's nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's not going to get this TC up, though. Oh, the rock is dead. Oh, no. Him, the TC was nice, but... Uh... Oh, they yeah. can't one-shot the house? <laughs> what? Oh, you... Right, you need uh, free, I think. You need free catapults. All right, Kimo, yeah, get your TC now. Titan Gate. No respect. No respect, GG. Yeah, that was the get out Titan Gate for sure. Uh, Matrius takes this game in a pretty dominating fashion. Kimo really didn't have much to uh, add to this. But in the series, Kimo showed his power today. And I think 
he did a lot better than in the in the previous tournaments. Pretty yeah, much as I... good as he did in the season finale last time. Yeah, I think considering how much League of Legends Kimo has been playing, especially recently, he hasn't been focusing too much on AOM. He's done really well again to make it to the finals of these tournaments, right? Yeah, so I, I think he can be proud of himself there. Yeah, for sure. We want to thank our MetaPlace website subscribers. Your contribution helps us keep hosting events. As we reach higher subscription goals, we can increase the price pools of the events we host. Check out our subscription page using the link in the description. And remember to collect your perks. We will see you the next time.